Oh man, despite all the blood and dead people, this is pretty good. So this is my review for The Wild Bunch. This is a classic Western film that was released in 1969. It was actually suggested to me to be reviewed by Kakashi101 Abel. Sorry if I got that wrong, man, but you suggested this to me, so here's my review of it. Holy shit, I can't believe I haven't seen this film. I have seen the ending of it, parts of it anyways, but I've never seen it in full, and I can't believe I haven't. I am a massive fan of editors and the work that they do. It's something that I dreamed to be one day. If everything works out and on all the stars align and I get an editor job, that's exactly where I want to be. Because the art of editing is amazing to me and I love editing, whether it be these little videos or short little films or whatever. The art of editing has always been interesting to me and I especially appreciate films that send landmarks or set the, basically the, uh, the level, the bar for editing in different ways, and The Wild Bunch was one of them, mainly because of how many edits it had in it. This film had an editor by the name of Lou Lombardo, and this guy never got the recognition, officially anyways, that he truly deserved. This film had over 3,000 edits in it, which all added up, especially in the director's cut, was almost over 2,000 the normal amount for, decent, for normal Hollywood films of that time. The final scene itself, the final gun battle, has over 500 edits in it, and the scene goes on for about five minutes, which means that it roughly works out to being more than two edits per second. It was insane to have put that together with the film reels, cutting it, laying it, testing it, moving it wherever, back in the 60s, that would have been an absolute pain in the ass. And I absolutely give all credit to Lou Lombardo for making the every single gun scene, every single scene, much more epic, much more interactive than would have been for a normal Western film. I saw the Once Upon a Time in the West for the first time in full last year, and I loved that film for its very long takes, its very long panning shots. But what's really funny is I like The Wild Bunch for the exact opposite reasons, and that's because a lot of the things that this film did kind of set a precedent for it. It had an amazing new style of editing. The script was nominated, if I'm correct, for Best Screenplay because the people in this film are actually, they're technically, they're bad guys. They're not good people. The level of intensity and the blood and the violence in this film, if I'm correct, is one of the first films that got an X rating and had to be dumbed down because of the violence. But the, the entire end climax is amazing and every single scene is incredible. This film also had something called a quick zoom in. Quentin Tarantino actually used it a few times in Django Unchained very well, actually. And this film, Film, I don't know if I'm correct if it's the one that pioneered it, but it is one of the first ones to, to have done it. And it works so well by creating this sudden intensity, this sudden tension to a scene. As for the film itself, it's actually quite complex for its storyline. Basically, it's about one group of mobsters, gangsters, bank robbers who try and rob this bank, but they are then encountered with these group of bounty hunters who are after them. The two leads of both sides actually knew each other at one point. One of them was kidnapped and is going after his friend to save his own ass. But while this is a reoccurring theme of the story, that isn't the main part. The main part is the Wild Bunch the technical criminals of this film. They encounter the head general of this Mexican army. They work with him, but they find out that he's actually even worse than they are. So they decide, hey, you know what? Fuck it. And they all get into a gun battle and they kill each other. That's a very com that's the very simple version of it. But it's a lot more complex than that. But if I were to talk about the entire film and all the aspects of it, I'd be here all day. The one thing that I do find very funny, though, is the favela that the Mexican general is in. Hell, the entire Mexican general and his army, I swear to God, there's a level like that are definitely a scenario characters like that in Red Dead Redemption. If they weren't based off of these guys in this movie, I'll eat my shorts because they definitely had some inspiration on some characters in Red Dead Redemption. But in the end, The Wild Bunch is revolutionary for many different reasons, not just its editing, but just how the film was made and the chances it took and the risks it took. And it's still heralded as one of the best westerns of its time, and I can totally see why. So in the end, obviously, I'm going to give The Wild Bunch a 7 out of 7. I want to re-watch this movie in admittedly much better quality than the version I found it, and I also want to watch the director's cut because I was very entertained with this film. 
I did not want to stop watching the end. Like at one point I actually had to do something, but I was like, damn it, I don't want to because this end scene isn't fantastic. So anyway guys, that's my review of The Wild Bunch. Thanks Kakashi101 Able for suggesting that. And uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys, if you ever have any other suggestions, let me know. And if I haven't seen them or if I haven't reviewed them, maybe I'll take a look. Anyway guys, see you later.